Here we see a female tree swallow standing beside her nest cup of six one-day-old young. She peers in and carefully places food into an open begging mouth and then moves over the cup and settles herself down over her young. And with a wiggle, she spreads her brood patch wide enough to have it contact all her little nestlings. As she sits quietly, heat from the blood vessels in her brood patch pass to her young. This heat is necessary for the chemical processes of nestling growth and development to proceed. From time to time, you'll see her check her young and change position, respreading her brood patch each time. Brooding is extremely important for young, naked, helpless nestlings. Now the nestlings in this box are two days old. And as the female broods, she takes advantage of this relatively quiet time to do some self-maintenance. She preens her feathers. Feather and skin care is very important for birds. This tree swallow female would normally preen while she's perched outside somewhere. But since she now has to spend so much of her time warming her young or hunting food, she tries to preen while she broods, combining these two vital behaviors. You'll notice that as she preens, this female's torso and brood patch stay oriented over her young. All that preening probably does not hinder the heat transfer. Here our female is tending three-day-old young. Notice how wide her body appears as she spreads her wings and brood patch. And what's this digging behavior all about? Now she seems to be checking her young carefully. Is she looking for something on them? Or perhaps something down in the cup? You can see that these young are growing fast, but they're still not feathered, so they still need brooding. Apparently satisfied everything's okay in the cup, the female settles back down to brood and preen. Now the female swallow is quietly brooding five-day-old young. You can barely see her back move as she breathes. Whoa, did you see the size of that nestling? And there's another. It must be hungry. As she's brooding, the female takes some time to preen. Keeping her brood patch on her young all the time.
Then she settles down to brew quietly some more. It looks like she's asleep. And maybe she is. She deserves a rest. It's nice to have a quiet time. But what's she doing now? We really aren't certain. Perhaps she was arranging the nest. She's doing it again. Maybe she's after parasites down in the nest material. some more. Perhaps she's gathering her young for more effective brooding. Or perhaps she's looking for fecal sacs to remove. This is actually what we think she's doing. Now as she backs up you can see that the five young although they're larger at five days still don't have feathers to keep their body heat in so heat from the mother's brood patch is still required However, you have to wonder how long she's going to be able to keep covering six young as they continue to grow. It's not going to be easy. The growing young are now seven days post-hatch. The female is in the entrance waiting for relief. When the male arrives, he quickly feeds one of the nestlings, and then it looks like he might try to cover the young. But instead, he starts digging. This makes us think that he's after a fresh fecal sac, one just produced by the young that he fed. No, he's not going to be brooding. He's a male after all, and males don't have brood patches. For him, it's going to be back up for guard duty. Here, the male tree swallow is being relieved by the female. Wow, look at these nine day old young. They're really getting big. And you can see small gray feathers sprouting all over their upper bodies. It looks like the female would like to try to brood, but she's just not going to be able to cover this bunch, even with an outstretched wing. Actually, these guys are large enough now that when they huddle together, their combined mass is enough in proportion to their combined surface area to retain most of their body heat, at least to retain enough to keep the growth processes going so long as the adults bring sufficient food for fuel. In other words, these young no longer need brooding, and in fact daytime brooding has pretty much ceased by nine days. This female still has that brooding instinct, however, but all she can do is perch on the nestlings' backs 
It just isn't going to work. But she still tries to dig underneath the young. But it looks like she's having a really tough time getting down through the pile. What to do? She'd like to brew, she'd like to dig, but it just really isn't working too well at this stage. It looks like the young aren't too thrilled by her actions either. One has to think that this mother is getting frustrated. She won't be trying this stuff much more in the days to come as her young keep growing. Try as she might, she just can't cover this whole bunch. Well, at least relief is about to arrive. In this last clip, it's the evening of the nestling's tenth day after hatching, and you can see how dark, insulating feathers cover much of their bodies. With their feathers and their combined masses, this bunch doesn't really need their mother's brooding heat anymore. Now the female has entered to feed a nestling and dig for a fecal sac. And as she moves around, you may notice her head and her back are wet, really wet. It must be stormy outside. Now she performs some of the behaviors we've come to associate with brooding, but she can't possibly cover these young. In fact, she's positioned herself off to one side, and she was still there later, after it had become too dark for us to see in the box. So we assume she slept over, as she had done since early in egg laying. But this is about to end at last, along with further attempts to brood.